February 10th, 2010. A third monster snowstorm is winding down in D.C. and records are set for the snowiest season ever. Drifts top five feet and longtime residents are stunned. This, many ask, is a warming world? Yeah, I think it was. This was for Stu Ostro, the Weather Channel's senior meteorologist, the answer is yes. But he didn't always feel that way, and we sat down with Stu to ask him why. You recently made the week's list of prominent skeptics who changed their mind. So tell us about that story. Why were you skeptical and, and what made you reverse course? Well, I guess I was just skeptical by nature. And actually, skepticism is a healthy part of the scientific process. Right. It becomes a problem when you become too skeptical and then it's unhealthy. In my case, being a meteorologist, another factor was that as weather forecasters, we're used to seeing extremes in weather. There's no weather, which is really odd, yeah. because it's always wild somewhere. And going back to the beginning of weather on Earth, there have been extremes. Right. Turns out that that was one of the key reasons why I changed my point of view on this, and that I started seeing things in the weather that, to me, were not explainable by natural variability. It just felt like something ain't right here. So I began investigating further, and that further evolved my point of view, along with a couple of other things. And you know, the thing that we've heard for a very long time now from a lot of people, the people that accept climate change, is that even if there's this trend, you can't tie any one event to climate change. But you might disagree with that. I, I think we've got to get beyond that, Carl. <laughs> uh, climate and weather are not two completely separate phenomena. They yeah. are intimately and inexorably linked. If you use an analogy, if, if climate is a book, weather is the chapters, you could say climate is the brain, weather is the beating heart. It's a continuum of, of time scales. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense that if the climate is changing, so is the weather, and not just in terms of averages over months or years, but in the day-to-day -day weather itself. And some of the things that we're seeing in the day-to-day -day weather is consistent with what you would expect in a warming world. 